Okay, um, speaking of whether Jesus Christ was the Son of God yesterday, today, and forever, he has always been that. Um, there's no hierarchical system set up. And it's always been equal. The Father is the Father. The Son is the Son. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. There's um, one God, one mediator between man and God, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. But it's always been... Um, even Stephen, if you will, you know, it's never been like, I mean, there will be a hierarchy set up, which is a good thing if you're on earth in, in the kingdom, I believe. A, and when the kingdom comes to heaven, I mean, heaven comes to earth, right? The kingdom of God is one thing. The kingdom of heaven is this, right? You got the kingdom of God. Well, once uh, Christ comes to earth, there will be a hierarchy, I believe, set up, if I'm wrong. Um, but, um, the thing is, the Father is the Father, the Son is the Son, the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit, always has been. Uh, the hierarchical system, uh, meaning there's no God above one or the other, if that's if, I'm, if that makes sense. Uh, God is God. There's no hierarchy. There's only, I believe that was set up when Christ came to earth. I guess that was to teach us, you know, how to be patient with one another, how to be willing to surrender. He laid his life down of itself, right? So he was just trying to teach us that there's nothing wrong with being willing to submit yourself one to another on, on, and as far as that goes. But as far as um, whether one was above the other, it, there was never ever said anything about that in scripture, ever. It's always been the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit, interchangeable. But, I mean, God is God, and he's one. There's never been a, um, a dispute, if you will. I'm above you. You're my son, so I'm going to send you. you got to go, or he's going to go, or the Holy Spirit's you know. It was never that. Um, it was just a... Uh, showing that they love one another always have it's love god is love and and that's revealed in scripture as that it's like family i guess you would say there's none above anybody we we love one another we're eternally they were they're not like us okay god remember that guys this is not subjective this is objective we've we put place our trace on, trust on christ alone for salvation God set it up that way. You got must believe that he is the son of God that died for your sins, was buried and rose again. There's no getting around that. And God re requires that. That is justification by faith alone in Christ alone. That's the grace of God. He was perpetuated through Christ and what he did on the cross for us. So the thing is that the argument being that whether God the Father was above the Son, or the Son was above the Holy Spirit. There's no, there's no debate there. There's no debate. God is God. Whether our little minds can't accept that, the Word of God was made flesh and dwelt among us. He was the Word. He's also the Son. Always has been the Son, and always been the Word. He just revealed it when he, when Christ came to Earth. Who they were as the Godhead. The Holy Spirit has always been the Holy Spirit. Why wouldn't he call him something else? Okay, you might say he's the Holy Ghost now. I don't know. But, I mean, there's never been no dispute of um, who, who's bigger than the other. The Son submitted unto the Father out of love for us. For us. He did it. I'm going, Father. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to take care of this. And he did it. Once and for all. Sins purged once and for all. And um, I don't see uh, no problem with it. You know, God is God. And, and he is also the son above all, all the stars in heaven. The father does. He loves the son. He exalts his name above heaven. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than that. But I don't see no confusion. The word has always been the word. The word has always been the son. 
I mean, if that's the only argument, I mean, relax everybody. I mean, sun is the sun, always has been. But God bless you. I hope you guys are having a good day, man. I'm working on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, my days ain't always perfect. I'm betting yours ain't either. But uh, I pray that you do have a wonderful day tomorrow in Christ. And God bless you guys. Pray for me. I need it. All my friends do. You know, we're working this thing out. You know, the truth, the cream will come to the top. You always, I promise you that. The cream will come to the top. Those that are of Christ, make no mistake. God is sovereign. He knows those are that, that are his, and the cream will come to the top. Guarantee you that. Amen, amen.